I didn't have a 400 nano Henry inductor. I got boxes full of inductors, but I just didn't find any with uh, 400 nano Henry, so anything close. But no problem. Here's the solution. A couple of toroids and a uh, little bit of copper wire. So let's make our own. How does this work? Well, first of all, when you select a toroid, you need to make sure it covers the frequency range that uh, you want. Next, what you need to know is the factor of the inductance, and that's given as A index L. And uh, this type that I'm using here is a 50 dash six this gives you an idea of the size and six is the material used very common the other most commonly used is two and that's the red one our a index l equals four and the way you calculate the inductance out of this in micro henry's so l i'll put that in parentheses in micro henry's equals a l times n squared well, that's obviously going to be your count of windings that you put through there that whole thing divided by 1000 once again uh, you will really appreciate if you're fluent in math because now we have to rearrange the whole thing for n so let's get started on this let's time the whole things by one th uh, whole thing by 1000 so 1000 times our inductance that we want and again it's a micro henry's equals a index L times N squared. So we'll just divide the whole thing by A index L. So we get 1000 times the inductance divided by A L. A index L equals N squared. So obviously we take the square root out of both sides. So we get the square root of 1000 times our inductance in uh, wanted inductance in micro henry's and that over a index l equals n now we don't need a calculator to really do that this is supposed to be in micro henry's so uh, we want 400 nano henry's that's 0.4 micro henry's times 1000 uh, gets us up to uh, 400 so for my, micro henry's in that case if we multiply nano henry's by a thousand divided by AL. For this here, it's four. So 400 divided by four, very easy, is 100. And the square root of 100 equals 10. So that means N equals 10. We need 10 windings on this toroid. And I'm going to use this magnet wire here. All right, next thing, very interesting and very practical. And many people don't think about this. They guesstimate how much wire they need to wind one of those toroids. Well, think about it. You know the height. You can find the height of this toroid in the data sheet. As a matter of fact, for uh, this type, it is somewhere around 4.8 millimeters. Now, the outer circumference of this toroid, you can calculate 2 times pi times your radius. So, your radius is going to be half the height, just a guesstimate. The height is 4.8, so 2.4 is going to be your radius. So 2 times pi times 2.4 equals 15 roundabout, and uh, that's 1.5 centimeters per winding. So you, we want 10 of those, so we need to put up about 15 centimeters of wire. We will, of course, want to add some leads, so if we cut off 20 centimeters of our wire, we will probably have a very lucky guess and don't need to waste too much wire. That was the quick and dirty version on uh, how to wind a toroidal inductor. If you want to see how you can do this a whole lot nicer, then uh, check out Ellen's uh, the channel. It's W2AEW, Whiskey 2 Alpha Echo Whiskey. And he made a very nice video on how to wind toroidal inductors. And here's a little trick though. And uh, people sometimes ask me why I have na nail polish in my toolbox, and this is why. A uh, little bit of nail polish, especially on the uh, where, where the wire starts and ends, can really help the uh, mechanical stability uh, in your prototyping circuit. 
and I've always done that just uh, put a little bit of nail polish over it only thing you have to make sure is that it doesn't stick to stuff afterwards so I always just try to put it on the side and uh, not on the side well depends from where you look on this side that side and this side and then put the toroid upside down on the desk like I did over there like I said just really most important on the where the wire goes in and where the wire comes out like here and I do quite a bit on the inside and uh, there you go that's it